Welcome to the Detroit Pistons, my GM series. We taking L's, guys. We taking L's, and I'm not having it no more. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. A lot of you guys were right saying, uh, yo, Brandon Jennings is not a shooting guard, Crispy. Don't put him at the shooting guard position. You're going to get killed, and I should have listened. And uh, quite frankly, he's it's the same issue that I... I see in the future, you know, I'm like a genie or a fortune teller. That makes more sense. I'm like a fortune teller, and I know that Brandon Jennings is not going to fit into this team when he comes back from his injury. The dude's got to go, man. He got to, got to go. We are 3-8. and eight. We are on a six-game losing streak. Tied for the 11th in the conference, fifth in our division, and getting blown out. We lost 99-128 to the LA Lakers. Okay? 97-113 to the Kings. It's not great. So... Let's go and take a look at some trades, guys. Um, and we got to get them off our team. We got to, man. Got to, got to, got to. So uh, let's go ahead, Trade Finder. A lot of you guys said to uh, get rid of Jennings and uh, Ersan Ilyasova. And I, I can get on board with that because Ilyasova, you know, he's fine and everything. I don't mind him on the Pistons in real life. Uh, but, you know, Anthony Tolliver can pretty much do everything that he can do when it comes to, like, three-point shooting and being an undersized power forward. You know, they both got that on lockdown. So that's fine. So, uh, man, let's... Uh, let's offer up Jennings, Ilyasova, and Spencer Hawes. See what's thrown our way. I don't know what. I don't know if I expect anything good. Uh, we're not gonna get like a superstar player back. So anybody thinking that, I mean, you're gonna have to go watch the different MyGM series because we don't get offered here. <laughs> I know we're not because I mean, Brandon Jennings is 81 overall, so that's not bad. And uh, it's not. It's, it's not a good look. Knicks want to give us Robin Lopez, 54 million dollar contract. And old washed up Jose Calderon. Gonna pass on that. And that's only one offer? That's you gonna... Uh, Alright, we might have to get rid of Spencer Hawes out of this deal here. Let's get him off there. Let's just go uh, Ilya Sova and Brandon Jennings. See what's thrown our way here. Give us something, man. Alright, we got 17 offers. Something to work with here. Jakar Sampson and Hollis Thompson. No. Uh, Chris Middleton, who was actually drafted by the Detroit Pistons. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys. Pistons management is notorious... For getting rid of good second round draft picks. Chris Middleton, for example, was a second rounder, I believe. Maybe he wasn't a second rounder. Uh, does it say? Yeah. Round two pick number nine. They also did the same thing with Aaron Aflalo back in the day. And they stuck with Rodney Sucky, who does do nothing except suck. Well, I'm called Sucky. Although he's on the Pacers now, so I really don't care. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, Avery Bradley. Okay, that's not a bad deal. I mean, I don't really need a point guard. You know, we already got Linsanity. And uh, Reggie Jackson, so that's just kind of a waste. Uh, Derek Flavors, Flavor Flav, and uh, Trey Burke. Uh, same deal. I mean, we, you know, we don't really need that type of power forward on our team. You know, a guy that can't really stretch or anything, so that's fine. Rudy Gay, Ben McElmore. Huh. That's a very interesting dynamic right there. That's very interesting because, uh, you know, we do have Marcus Morris and Stanley Johnson. Uh... You know, that's not a bad trade, though. I mean, Rudy Gay, the dude can shoot the ball. He can dunk the ball. And a Macklemore is also a pretty good stretch. I mean, I, I guess you can't really call him a stretch shooting guard. A stretch shooting guard is pretty much a shooting guard who's doing his job. And that's shooting, right? So, I uh, can't really call him that. Not a bad offer. Let's see, let's see what else we got here. Robin Lopez, Nick still trying to screw us over. Uh, Roy Hibbert, Jordan Clarkson. Don't really need either position. Thaddeus Young, nope. Danilo Gallinari, same thing. Don't really need it. George Hill, Rock. Suck you. You know what I just said about you, man, with that freaking horse-looking smile right there. Look the other way, man. Look the other way. Uh, Tyreek Evans, Norris Cole. All right, not a bad deal. I mean, I'd rather have a shooting guard that can shoot. Ooh. <laughs> ah, this is something to think about right here, man. Something to think about. I don't know why you guys out there saying, well, Chris, but you're not realistic. Well, okay, we're past that. We're past that stage, man. I'm 3-8. and eight. It's time to be unrealistic a little bit. Uh, Eric Bledsoe and TJ Warren. Sergi Blocka. Nikola Pekovic. Yo, I never really, uh, never really tried out DeMar before. He's, shooting stats are not that great, to be honest. But he is 6'7", so it would be great for us defensively. Uh, you know, a good defensive uh, two-guard right there. Who can still, you know, shoot if he's open? He's going to make it if he's open. I mean, it's not going to always go in, but it's not bad. And, uh, driving layup, 84. Uh, driving dunk, 90. I like that a lot. Passing vision. Okay, he got good passing accuracy, so we could definitely pass well. Hands are decent. Uh, rebound, not great. Offensive consistency, pretty good. Box out. On-ball defense, 83. I like that a lot. Steal, 63. Nothing good there. Um, 
You know, I think I think I might have to bring him in, guys. I think I gotta try him out. It's only one year deal, so if he doesn't work out for us, ideally we can just get rid of him. And we do have to give up our second round draft pick. Not a big deal. Patrick Patterson, I actually really enjoy him too as a player. He's uh, another one of those stretch four positions, so he could actually replace what Ursan Ilyasova does for us. So, uh, I don't know what you guys think about this trader here. I mean, some of you guys, like I said, are probably going to be mad because it's not realistic. Well, I mean, Brandon Jennings is off the team regardless, so he got to go for somebody, okay? And this is a trade that was offered to me. It's a trade I'm going to take. Let's do it. Let's bring in DeMar DeRozan, see what he does for this team. I mean, it's a one-year deal. If he doesn't work out, so be it. But uh, I'll see what he can able. Definitely excited for that move right there. Uh, yeah, coach can handle that. I was also thinking maybe get rid of one of the Morris twins. I don't know if I'm going to but you guys can all let me know in the, uh, ooh, they like that. He's a good starter, okay? Andre Drummond's our lead. He's a good starter. He's good with that. Perfect. Um, but yeah, because we got two Morris twins, you know, Marcus and Markeith. I don't know if I, I don't know. I, I kind of like Marcus Morris, to be honest, so I think he's a good shooter out there. And uh, with a, you know, with a shooting guard, because they can't really shoot that well. You know, it kind of makes him even more valuable for us. Um, not really feeling Spencer Hawes all that much. Let's see what we can get for him and Tolliver. We don't really need him. We don't really need Tolliver anymore either. Um, we might not get anything good, but we'll see. Ooh, I like this trade. I actually like this trade. I like Jonas Repko. We'll bring him back to the Pistons and Kelly Olenek. Uh, Todd Gibson, that's not a bad deal. Lance Stevenson, don't really need a shooting guard. Um, uh, maybe I'll hold on to him for now. Nick Young. I bring him every series, guys. Every series, I bring that dude in. Amara Sheik. No, I don't really need that. Oh, uh, okay. We'll probably hold off on that trade for now. I think this is a pretty big move we did right here. So, uh, what do we got here? We got Reggie Jackson. That's not a... Dude, that's a good young core right there. Reggie Jackson, uh, DeMar DeRozan, uh, Morris, Patterson, Drummond. Dude, why they got... Why they got Markeith off the bench? Okay, but you're going to be starting, Markeith. Okay, I don't know why they got you right here, Patterson, but, uh, I mean, you can play and everything. But you're not going to be our starter. That's for damn sure. Okay, we'll go with the minutes here. Tolliver, okay. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's go through our team real quick here. Reggie Jackson, DeRozan, uh, Marcus Morris, Markeith Morris, Drummond. Uh, Patterson will play him right here. So, we got Lynn Sandy as our backup point guard. We got uh, Patterson, of course. Stanley Jans Jansen. I don't know why. Stanley Johnson. <laughs> KCP. And uh, Spencer Hawes. And, of course, some scrubs off the bench here. So, uh, actually, you know, what if our objective was to trade away uh, Joel, Joel Anthony? So let's just see what we can get for him real quick. You never know, man. Maybe we'll get offered like Kevin Durant. You never know. Okay, not trading a first-round draft pick. <laughs> not doing that. Not doing that. Dougie McBuckus. <laughs> yo, they all want... Our, okay, they all want my first... They're all like, yo, Chris, man, we got to take scrub-ass Joel Anthony. Y'all better give us a draft... Oh, I thought I said Willis Reed. Okay, <laughs> they better give us a draft pick back, though. Bring in the Go Kendrick. KJ McDaniels. Okay, I'm not seeing nothing. Okay, nothing here at all. Nothing at all. All right, whatever. We tried. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate a game real quick. I just want to see how this team does in a simulated uh, situation. So we'll go to SimCast. This is Andrew Wiggins. Kevin Garnett. By the way, rest in peace, Flip Saunders, a former uh, Detroit Piston coach. And uh, a coach that I really grew up watching because there was Larry Brown. He was there for a few years. And then it was Flip Saunders for a long time, which led the team to uh, quite a few Eastern Conference Finals and 50-win seasons. So rest in peace, Flip Saunders. Very sad to see you go early in life. Uh, you had a lot to offer the game of basketball. You offered the game of basketball so much. And uh, your legacy will live on in the NBA forever. So let's go ahead and simulate this game. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh come on, man. I thought you were about to blow him out for a second. Don't lose. Don't lose. Don't. I can't even, man. I can't even. DeRose, how are you going to have seven points in your debut? All right, guys. How long is this episode? Nine minutes long? All right. Okay, episode over, guys. I'll do more um, next episode. I'm going to fidget around with, like, the scoring options and all that stuff. I don't, maybe that's the reason we're getting blown out. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. I think it was a pretty decent trade. Let me know what you guys all think. I'll talk to you all later. Peace out, my friends.